Hey guys, what's up? Jackie Cooks here. I got a request to re-upload this video without the music. So check it out. Our favorite pie. Let's start off by adding two cups of crushed graham cracker crumbs. Next, two tablespoons of granulated sugar. You can also use brown sugar. One half cup of melted butter. Let's mix that very well and make sure our graham crackers are coated and it looks like wet sand. Mix well. In our nine inch pie pan, we're gonna pour in our graham cracker crust. Make sure you spray it with a nonstick spray. Let's form our crust by pressing down on those graham crackers with our fingers. I can eat that whole crust. To set our crust, we're going to place it in the refrigerator. About 15 minutes. We're going to be using the zest of four limes. This is what gives our pie so much flavor. The smell of these fresh limes is amazing. Oh yeah! To get the maximum amount of juice, I like to put my limes in the microwave for 15 seconds. This softens up the lime skin. Trust me, make sure you do it that. It works every time. It makes the limes juicy. When you press on it, it's just so much juice. I'm addicted. There's nothing better than a juicy lime for a delicious key lime pie. So good, y'all. Look at all that juicy goodness right there. If you guys weren't looking, I'd probably go ahead and start sucking on these limes because I love lemon and limes. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and make our four ounces of lime juice because we can't make a key lime pie without lime juice, can we? Well, we could, but it wouldn't taste good. Can you say freshly squeezed? We're going to start making our filling. We're going to put in eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, sweetened condensed milk, 14 ounces. Let's add one third cup of heavy whipping cream. Let's mix that well with our hand mixer. Let's add in two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Now we're going to pour in our freshly squeezed lime juice. Mix well with our hand mixer. Let's add in about half of our lime zest. Let's mix that very well. This is the last time we're going to use our mixer. This was so easy. We're going to pour that delicious filling into our awesome pie crust. And we're going to put that in the refrigerator and let it set overnight. Now that our pie has set overnight, we're going to go ahead and decorate it by making flowers with some whipped cream. Look at Dom. He can't wait. To decorate, I added slices of lime and lime zest. So pretty. Now, you know, I got to let you guys know how good it is. It's sweet, sour, silky, and smooth and fabulous. Make you one. The fresh lime juice makes it phenomenal. Thanks so much for watching. I see you. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and meet me in the comments. Love ya.